G'day. The other day one of the engineers at work came up to me and said, can you make a, a, a special hole for a connector? Now, it's uh, what's referred to in the trade as a double D. It's basically, well, here's a, here's a plug I made up, and you'll see me doing that a little bit, but you can see it's a, it's a round shape with two flats on it. Uh, for electrical connectors, they like doing that sort of thing because it means that it, it's not going to twist when they try to, to do things up. For those of us who have to make the holes, it's a pain in the neck because you can't just drill a hole. I mean, that's a, that's a, a 5 8 hole. You can't just drill a hole and then pretend you haven't taken some, some off the sides. So it required a, a different approach. Now, previously when I've done these, I've drilled some, I've marked it out on the part, I've drilled some holes, I've filed it to the lines with limited success. I say limited success because it's never quite as neat as you'd like it to be. So what I did, decided to do was make up a filing guide and that's it there. Uh, it's a bit of uh, 1040 steel and I filed the shape in here that I needed, then heated it, gave, gave a bit of a, a, a heat up and a quench to try and harden that up and I think I've done that well enough. Uh, and that way I can just sort of clamp that on the part drill a few holes, file it out, everything's wonderful. So that's what I did today. Lots of smoke, lots of flames, well a little bit of smoke, a little bit of flames, all that fun stuff. Some of these electrical connectors can be quite nasty mechanically because they, they you know, want round holes with flats on them or something like that. This is one of them. So because these connectors are delicate, I can't really you know, use one to, to trial fit. And the other thing is that the hole needs to be a little bit bigger than the connector anyway, and so um, that's no good. So I'm making up a plug. I've turned a round piece of material out of a bit of uh, 16 bar, and 16, uh, and, and, and uh, hot rolled steel has generally got a couple of flat sides on it, so you have to be careful. But I've got the flat here that I've then milled off. I'm using my uh, notch parallels, and what I'll then do is just clean up the edges here so it'll sit nicely on a couple of normal parallels, put that in there, take off the other side and I'll have a plug gauge. What I want to do is make up a filing template. So basically a piece of steel which I can harden with the, I guess the, 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 the negative of this in it that I can then clamp to a piece of material with a, with a few holes drilled in it, file away and know that when the file starts touching the steel, I'm to size. I'm taking a, a, a short piece of material off this uh, stub uh, and this is a, a setup that I detail in my bandsaw tips video but uh, this is how I start when I've got a slightly thicker disc that's not coming out of sheet, it's coming out of a, a stub end of a bit of uh, round bar stock. I was going to clean this up in the lathe, but the, the, the thickness that I want um, means that it'll, it'll disappear inside the jaw, chuck jaw, so I won't bother doing that, so I'll use this instead. A couple of things to note. One is that usually I'd have the parallels pressed against the jaws, but because it's round, I've got them in the middle here, or, you know, sort of about a third in, a little bit, little bit less than that, and that's just so that I can get some decent support across the, across the disc. Same things apply about, you know, tapping it in and all that sort of thing. Uh, the other thing you might note is this. This is a, a tray that I'm, I'm trying out and seeing whether it's any, any good. I, I got annoyed with having to pick up chips and all that sort of thing all the time. So this is just here to try and catch swarf. Seems to be working. I, there's a few changes that I need to make to it. But, uh, you know, if, you've, if you're like me and you like to keep your workplace tidy, uh, something like this might be worth thinking about as well. I'm just about to start removing uh, the majority of the material from the hole uh, with, a, with an end mill. I've done two things though before I've done that. First of all, I've, I've put some square corners on here. And the reason for that is just that there are times when people want connectors to be square to edges. And so 
by doing this, I've given myself some square edges. I can, I can use a square to line that up on a panel. The other thing I've done is I've just marked out, and this is just for my own reference, where the, what the hold is and where it's going to be. So I, I, sh I should be able to, as I said, remove most of that material with the, with the milling cutter, uh, and then I'll have to come in and clean up with a file until my, my little plug gauge goes in there. Now that I've taken that material out, uh, it's just, just a matter of, of filing that up, neatening that up until my, my plug goes in. Uh, and then I'm going to try and, and heat treat this a little bit. It's uh, 1040 carbon steel, so it can take a little bit of, um, or it can harden up a little bit. Uh, I don't want anything terribly wonderful, I just want something that the, the file will, um, you know, skate on a little bit or at least have trouble biting into so that I can. Uh, use it without having to worry about has my hole gotten bigger. There's my uh, double D hole. Uh, the, the, the plug gauge fits in there just. Uh, I'm no, no click spring with a file but uh, it's, it's good enough for what I want. Uh, I'm now going to heat this up and, and um, quench it and I'm hoping that that will harden it up nicely. Uh, I'll probably end up using some oil just to try and get a bit more carbon in there, uh, but that should then give me a, a, a harder thing that I can then bolt onto an aluminium plate, drill out some holes, file up to the to the hard steel, and and that'll give me my uh, my cutout. As a piece of interesting trivia, this used to be an old school fitters test. Um, they'd be given a round bar and a, a plate, told to file the round bar into a, a hexagon, and file a uh, a hex hold into the plate and not only did the hex going to have to fit in all three orientations but when you put the the um, plug into the hole it had to fall slowly um, you know you had to you had to have the fit just right because anybody can make a a large hole that will you know just drop through um, but that was one of the things. Can you can you file a shape accurately, and can you file it to a specific uh, size? So you saw the smoke then flames. Um, the first time I tried that, I didn't quite get this hot, as hot as I, I, I wanted to. So I went back and had another go and tried concentrating the, the heat around or the flame around the, the hole and that seems to have worked. Um, as I said, it doesn't have to be you know, diamond hard or anything like that. It just has to be hard enough that the, that the file will skate on it a little bit, that you'll feel the difference when you get down to, to this metal. Uh, in application, so this is how I've just set it up, I, I just clamped it to my uh, piece of aluminium. Um, if this was one of those connectors with, with a, uh, some auxiliary holes, you could clamp through that like a, like a, a D, uh, D sub connector. But this one, I've just clamped it here, I use the edge there to square up so that it's, this is roughly vertical. Uh, and then using the, the round file, 
uh, just went through until, as I said, I, I, I felt that, that skating heard that, that change in sound. Uh, did it work? Well, yes, it did. Uh, so, I, I regard that as a, as a success and I'll probably be making a few more of these if we, if we uh, come up with some common connectors so that you know next time I have to do a, um, a, a double D or whatever it's just a matter of clamping this on, drilling a few holes in there just to take the material out and then filing away. That's, that's all there is to it. So, thanks for watching. I uh, hope this has been useful. See you for the next one.